Wow, well, we have some nice energy here tonight. Not only the heart opens and the mind stops, but we all fall into silence. Even better, or as good as. So I'm going to spend the weekend talking to the residents, but we have some helpers. Maybe some of the helpers would like to come and have a chat. Maybe Emma would start. <laughs> Do you need a translator? Yes. Can somebody translate for them? Yes. Have we got a um, thing? <coughs> so I'm very much interested to know whether there's any progress in your situation. Yeah. Um. Eigentlich möchte ich gar nicht mehr so da reingehen. Ich muss mich erstmal sortieren. <laughs> Actually, I do not really want to talk about that. No? Oh. <laughs> It's the only thing I'm interested in talking to you about. <laughs> um, I start to believe in miracles. Really? Yes. <laughs> right. Weil die Gerichtsverhandlung ums Sorgerecht ist... Um, The appointment about the um, custody. The custody. You had a court case, or yeah. yeah. And I heard that the judge rather liked your son. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's impressed. Yeah. 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 Well, he or she should be. He should oh. be. I'm also impressed. <laughs> I'm not interested in you. I'm interested <laughs> in your That's son. It becomes clear. <laughs> <laughs> You're sorry. just an extra. <laughs> Thank you for being so honest. <laughs> yeah. Do you know I'm joking, I hope. No. No? You're serious. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, so so just talk to the judge. Yeah. Yeah? Um, einer der prägendsten Sätze von ihm war one of the strongest sentences was. Yeah. Der Richter hat gefragt, ob er sich vorstellen könnte, warum er sehr, so gerne, also am liebsten bei Mama sein soll und warum er, ähm, warum Papa ihn am liebsten haben möchte, ob so er das sich vorstellen kann. Ja, yeah, so the judge asked him, what, what do you think, what is your idea, why do you like to be with your mother and why does your father want you so much? Why does your father want, want you to have, to have you with him so ah, much? Ah, right. What, what What do you think about that? Right, right. Ja, und darauf hat er geantwortet, um, so wäre das nicht. Mama möchte ja gar nicht, dass er unbedingt bei Mama lebt. Und um, Mama möchte, dass er da ist, wo er glücklich ist und wo er gerne sein möchte. And then you said that uh, it's actually not like this. His mother does not want him to be with her, but his mother wants him to be there where he feels most happy. Und Papa möchte ihn gerne haben, weil er das will. <laughs> the Daddy, he wants to have him with him because he wants it. The father daddy wants, wants it. it. Yeah. Right. Ja, und da hat der Richter halt gesagt, ähm, es hätte ihn sehr beeindruckt, dass er das so klar hat und das sollte meinem Mann zu denken geben. And uh, the judge then said that he was very impressed, that he was, was so clear about that and uh, that the father has something to think about. Ja, und das andere ist halt das Open Sky House. Das hat er exemplarisch genommen für die Beziehung zu seinem Vater. And uh, you see took the Open Sky House as an example for his relationship with his father. Und weil er ganz klar gesehen hat, wie wichtig das Yossi ist, dass er hierher kommen kann. Das hat er wohl auch sehr deutlich gemacht. So the judge could see how important it is for Jos to come here and he showed it very clearly. He, and Josh showed it Jos to the judge. Showed it Right. Ja, und ähm, er hat dann halt auch gesagt, dass er Papa immer gefragt hat, warum er nicht hierher kommt und sich das anguckt und guckt, was er hier so gut findet und warum er sich hier so wohl fühlt. And uh, you said that he asked his father several times, why don't you come there, why don't you have a look, why I like it so much. Right. Ja, right. und da hat der Richter auch gesagt, was soll ich darauf antworten? <lacht> and then the judge said, well, what to answer to this? To ja. the father. Ja. Right, right. ja, und dass er, wenn er ihm raten sollte, ähm, 
dass es wichtig wäre, dass, dass der Jos das Gefühl hätte, sein Vater hätte so viel Interesse an ihm, dass, er, dass es ihm wichtig genug ist, wirklich zu gucken, was Jos wichtig ist, oh Gott. <lacht> so, the judge said, if he is asked for advice, then he would say that um, the father has to consider this, because if it's so important for Jos, then it should be also important for the father to take some interest in what the boy is boy wants. Of course. Ja. Und das ist das, ist, worum es <lacht> da geht. Also es ist gar nicht darum geht, ist hier wirklich irgendwas, was das Kind gefährdet, sondern dass der Vater nicht dem Rechnung trägt, für was Jos sich interessiert und wo er ja, angehaftet ist oder was ihm wichtig ist. So it's not about if the open sky is something good or something bad. It's more an example to see that uh, Yeah, but also it sounds <coughs> very encouraging that the judge is open enough to consider all that, yeah? Yeah. like what's best for Joss. Ja. <coughs> Aber ich habe nicht damit gerechnet, dass er das so klar sieht. Ich habe eine Freundin beim Jugendamt, die den Richter als ERC eingeschätzt hat. I was, uh, I was not expecting that the judge could be so clear, so I have a friend at the uh, youth but I mean I think it would be important that the judge knows that we invited the father already many months ago about six months ago I think mm. and that we've just now sent a letter again to the father inviting him again mm. so I mean that's actually also important that the father can't escape that issue yeah? we don't have anything to hide so we can't wait for daddy to come. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe daddy will want to live here too. <laughs> I believe in miracles. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a bit, um, it might be a too far, you know. <laughs> right. I don't know, but yeah. This right, right. But for me it's... And when, 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 there, when there would be another, another hearing or another talk with the judge? Ähm, nicht mehr in der Sorgerechtsfrage. Da hat er ganz klar gesagt, dass Jos bei mir bleiben soll, weil er das gar nicht anders entscheiden kann, weil Jos so klar sich positioniert hat und so eindeutig war. There is no more appointment about the custody uh, question, because it was so clear what uh, Jos said and where he positioned himself. So you mean the judge can now decide, you mean? He could decide that Jos can come here with you? Um, nee, also das ist noch nicht, äh, diese Frage ist noch nicht geklärt. Der Richter hat quasi meinem Mann angeregt, das zu tun. Ob mein Mann das tut, ich glaube nicht. Ähm, es muss irgendeine Form von Beweis soll ich erbringen, dass hier keine Sekte ist oder nichts Kindswohlgefährdendes ist. So the judge was suggesting this to the father, yeah, that they don't go in more court cases, but that they sort it out themselves, yeah, and that he comes here and kind of, yeah, they get it here like this. Yeah. But it's not so likely, yeah, so, and uh, then they kind of ended with the thing that she should bring a kind of proof that this house here is okay for a child. Okay, but I'm wrong. <laughs> best, the best proof is that the child wants to come here. Yeah. It's already enough proof. Yeah? If a little boy of six years old is ready to sit in a court and say he wants to come here, what else other proofs do you need? <laughs> uh. Yeah, but the, the, the liar of my husband brings some stories about Osho and naked dancing and stuff like that. <laughs> and I, I think sat li there and little boys <laughs> probably <laughs> like naked dancing. <laughs> 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 yeah, but, but it was so crazy, yeah. I mean, maybe that's the problem with your husband, that he didn't, <laughs> he didn't like naked dancing. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> what happened with his new wife, yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. But they, they, they don't have any proviso. But anyway, I mean, your position is clear now, yeah, that you, you wait for some time. And if he doesn't accept our invitation, and he doesn't accept your invitation or Joss's invitation, 
then you have to go back to the court and ask for a decision <coughs> to let Joss uh, and you do what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah? And with that beginning, you have a very good chance, I would say. I feel like that, yeah. I mean, if the husband would come here and say, oh, it's a terrible place, that then makes it a bit more complicated. Yeah? You would need to find somebody <coughs> else who says that's not true. Yeah? But if he doesn't come at all, I think he doesn't have a chance, basically. No. I think it's open now, this question. Yeah. But um, yeah. it's amazing. To, I'm, I'm totally flashed. I, I sat there in, in, the, in the courtroom and... <coughs> What did he say? Yeah, but Joss has been very clear from yeah, the beginning, you yeah. know. But this is what 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 the judge um, right. says. Yeah? He never had a six years old boy who stands so clear right. in the room and said like this, like this, like that. Yeah. And yeah. Und ja. er hat halt auch ganz klar gesagt, ich würde ihn nicht beeinflussen. Das könnte er auch klar sehen. Also diese Vorwürfe bräuchte mein Mann nicht mehr erheben. So he was also said very clearly that his mother is not trying to influence him. So this no the judge. No, the judge. Ah, the judge yeah. said this. Ah, that he sees that she's not influencing the boy, and so this uh, attacks from the husband that she's influencing him. That he he can forget about this. Right, right. But also you don't want to wait too long because actually it's going to be good for Joss to come here, yeah. and actually Joss needs a lot of healing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you yes. also need a lot of healing. So, I mean, if your husband doesn't do something in a couple of weeks, then uh, he's not coming, and then you would go back and ask for uh, the, the judge to make a, make a decision. Mm. Uh, ich hab, meine Psychologin um, wird sich jetzt noch mit der Frau Liebrand einmal besprechen. Das ist so meine Hoffnung, dass es da irgendwie eine Klarheit <coughs> gibt von der Sekteninfo. <laughs> so I mean, we don't mind writing or sending a video of naked women dancing. <laughs> man, naked men. If man. that would help, <laughs> we've got lots naked of lots of women who like to dance <laughs> dance naked. I mean, the women are not the problem. I think the men. <laughs> ah, the men. Well, we, we can probably supply a few men dancing naked. <laughs> <laughs> Her therapist and the uh, woman from the sex department, they will have a talk together. No, right. I hope that will be shift something inside this lady. <coughs> yeah. yeah. And then... Well, on our website there is so much information that anybody who really wants to have a look can see we're not no. a sect, you know what I mean? We have, what, <coughs> something like 600 of these meetings. Online, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I look them she all. Lo looks at <laughs> if she looks at some of the meetings, she can see for herself what's going on. But I think that is the problem. Also, it's not about the truth, but it's about the mind. I don't know. It's not yeah. about the truth. It's about mindy stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. No? Yeah. Like we all dancing naked <laughs> with John Mahler, <laughs> John David Mahler's, and <laughs> which, which color we <laughs> we choose in this house? I don't know. Well, I was I spent 15 years with Osho, and actually I didn't see anybody dancing naked. No. No. Oh. Of course, I was meditating all the time. <laughs> Deep contemplation. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for you. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty boring, actually. Uh, pretty boring. Sounds like that. I yeah. was reading these stories you know, about sex and rock and roll, but I just meditated every day. <laughs> <laughs> I somehow missed all that part. Oh, <laughs> good boy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Thank good. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Maybe I should smack it like something. Do you want to come and be smacked? No, you, darling. I have to give you a smack, so I might as well do it in public. <laughs> <laughs> Can you translate for me? <laughs> 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 
So at the last meeting, mm -hmm. we discussed that as you no longer have any particular reason, you could come and volunteer in the Open Sky House. Is that right? Yeah. Right. And then you sent an email with your conditions. Mm -hmm. We don't have any, we don't accept any conditions. Also solche Bedingungen, die akzeptieren wir nicht. Hm. That's, the, that's the answer. Das ist jetzt die Antwort. So there's nothing to talk. If you want to volunteer, then come and volunteer. Mhm. And you go through the same process that all the other volunteers go through. Mhm. Mhm. And if Prozess you scream and shout, then it's not your place. Yeah? Wenn du dann <laughs> schreien musst, dann ist das wohl doch nicht dein Platz. But being serious, there's a sense that maybe you don't really understand what we're doing here. Aber wenn ich mal uh, ernst bin, dann ist da so ein bisschen Gefühl, dass du nicht ganz verstehst, was wir hier machen. Kannst du mir erklären? Explain this then? Well, one of the things we're doing here is we're not following people's ideas. Also was wir hier nicht machen, ist die Vorstellungen von Menschen verfolgen what they like, what they don't like. Was die mögen oder was die nicht mögen. Eigentlich waren, weil meine, um, also das, was ich geschrieben habe, war konkret das, dass ich hier nicht schlafen möchte und arbeiten kann ich hier. No? So my, uh, my point was that I, uh, I'm okay to work here, but I don't want to sleep here. Yeah, but then you can't be a volunteer here, darling, because you don't understand what we're doing here. Aber dann kannst du hier kein Helfer sein, weil dann verstehst du nicht, worum es geht. Um was geht? Und was geht? Is it? What, what is it about then? Well, you have to come and then you'll find out. <lacht> <lacht> du, musst halt, du musst halt kommen und es ausprobieren. Dormitory is a very important part. Der yeah. Schlafsaal ist ein wichtiger... It all starts in the dormitory. Wichtiger, <lacht> der Schlafsaal ist ein wichtiger Teil davon. Da geht es erst richtig los. And if, it, if it's too nice in the dormitory, we send Sh Shakti to make it a bit more exciting. <laughs> Wenn es zu schön ist im Schlafsaal, dann schicken wir da die Shakti hin, die schnarcht dann. Nein, das war keine Korrektur. Natürlich kann ich das machen. No? Also, sag ich mal, eine, eine Woche gucke ich mir das an, damit ich mir das nicht anfühle. Okay, I can try that. I can try for one week how it feels. Yeah, of course, it's not so difficult. Mm. It's not so I mean, schwierig. this this is basic. <laughs> this is basically what we suggest to everybody. You know, mm. you you come through the door for one week, mm. and in this week you surrender to this community. Das yeah? ist was wir allen vorschlagen, die kommen. Du kommst durch die Tür und dann gibst du dich für eine Woche lang dem Fluss dieser Gemeinschaft This community is running now for 15 years. Diese Gemeinschaft gibt es ja schon seit 15 Jahren. Mm. And for example, at the beginning of this meeting, yeah, it was extremely beautiful. Und zum Beispiel heute am Anfang. Maybe in the whole of Germany, even in the whole of Europe, at that moment was the most beauty here. In ganz right? Deutschland, vielleicht sogar in ganz Europa, war hier die meiste Schönheit. So probably somebody here understands what's going on. Also scheinbar scheint es hier jemanden zu geben, der weiß, was uh, los ist. So I know you're very attracted to what happened in the beginning of this meeting. Ich weiß ja, du bist von dem, was am Anfang hier vom Satzang geschehen ist, uh, sehr angezogen. And so just trust, you know, just trust in that week. If you don't like it, you can leave at any moment. Yeah. The door is always open. Also, gib dem einfach mal Vertrauen, das eine Woche lang auszuprobieren. Und wenn es wirklich nicht funktioniert, kannst du ja gehen. Die Tür ist ja offen. So you're not really risking anything. Yeah. Du gehst ja kein wirkliches Risiko And if you Risiko like ein. it, it might change your life. Und wenn du es wirklich magst, dann verändert das vielleicht dein Leben. Ich wollte nur dazu sagen, dass ich eigentlich körperliche Beschwerde habe. Also ich sehe ja von außen funktionierender Mensch, aber ich habe sehr starke Probleme mit meiner Wirbelsäule. Also so, um, from the outside I, I look healthy, but actually I have strong problems with my spine. 
Und yeah, everybody here has strong problems with their spine actually. We specialize in that. Yeah. Alle hier haben Probleme mit der Wirbelsäule, darauf sind wir spezialisiert. Yeah. I mean, our translator, <laughs> our camera lady, Beispiel, die Frau in der Kamera. Yeah, almost everybody. Ja, fast jeder hier. So exactly. you couldn't come to a better place for that. Du bist ja komplett richtig. Und ähm, also ich hatte da Operationen, ich könnte ein Jahr nicht laufen. Und bei mir ist das so, wenn ich wirklich mich überfordere, wenn ich da mehr mache, als ich brauche, als ich kann, dann kann sein, dass ich zwei Wochen einfach nicht gehen kann. So I had operations and then I couldn't walk for weeks. So if I um, over, overdo, then it can be that afterwards I can't walk. Well, during your week, I'll tell Pravati to throw her whip away. Also, während du nur für die Woche, wo du hier bist, sage ich der Pravati, dass sie ihre Peitsche mal zur Seite legt. She won't use it that week when you come. In der Woche wird sie die Peitsche nicht benutzen. Also Pravati, da habe ich kein Problem mit Pravati und Küche ist kein Problem. Pravati and the kitchen is not a problem. All right. Well, we'll put away all the whips in the house. Dann packen wir die einzelnen anderen Peitschen auch noch weg, die wir hier so aufbewahren. Of course, you have to take care of your own uh, physical situation. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to be trying to push you into something that you can't manage. Natürlich musst du dich um deinen Körper kümmern und keiner wird dich versuchen, in was reinzudrücken, was du nicht machen kannst. And because we know it's a very intense community. Weil wir wissen, dass das hier so sehr intensiv ist in der Gemeinschaft. The volunteers get from two o'clock in the afternoon until is it four o'clock in the afternoon, something like this. You get a free sleep period. Weil wir wissen, wie intensiv das hier ist, hast du von 14 bis 16 Uhr frei und da kannst du dich ja auch gerne schlafen legen. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll be okay, I'm sure. Ich bin sicher, du kriegst das hin. Weil nur, nur vor zwei Wochen lag ich einfach eine Woche im Bett und ich könnte erste drei Tage echt nur sehr schwer mit Unterstützung zu, zu Toilette und zu legen. Diese Oma mit Schmerzen. Ja, yeah, so only one week ago I had this uh, back problem and I was lying in bed and I could uh, hardly stand up only for going to the toilet. We have lots of phone numbers, don't worry. Du kannst jederzeit jemand anrufen hier. Two days ago I was in Düsseldorf having lunch in a very nice restaurant. Vor zwei Tagen war ich in Düsseldorf und da habe ich in einem sehr schönen Restaurant gegessen. And the owner was crying. Und der Woman or man? The owner, she Woman was crying. Man. The owner of the yes. restaurant was crying. Die Besitzerin des Restaurants hat geweint. And um, I thought probably she's having some emotional relationship issues, you know. I thought ich maybe. Ich habe dann gedacht, sie hat vielleicht irgendwelche emotionalen Geschichten mit über ihre Beziehung. So I thought I would offer my help. Ich dachte, ich kann kann ja meine Hilfe mal anbieten. And it turned out that she had terrible back pain. Und dann kam raus, dass sie fürchterliche Rückenschmerzen hat. So I called to uh, Indira. Und habe ich die Indira angerufen. And within a couple of minutes I gave her three phone numbers of where she could get help. Und innerhalb von Minuten habe ich ihr drei Telefonnummern gegeben von Leuten, die ihr helfen können. So don't worry, you'll be okay. Dir keine Sorgen machen. Du wirst okay you have to sein. worry more about something else. Du musst dir Sorgen mm -hmm. um was anderes machen. This is the place where your ideas get challenged. Hier ist ein Ort, wo all deine Vorstellungen herausgefordert werden. I was also writing an email about that. Yeah, but 
darling, that's my project, that's not your project. Is okay, but I just wanted to say something to you. I just wanted to say something. And I had the idea not long ago. I tried to show you in your email. I, in the email I tried to say that this idea was not in me for a longer time. Was not. Mm -hmm. This idea exactly came when you had this breakfast with this family. Right, right. Okay. And, and I've I thank you for this idea. It's a wonderful idea. <laughs> but as a volunteer we're not asking you to arrange the conference. Ich danke dir sehr für die Idee, das war eine tolle Idee, aber wenn du hier als Helferin kommst, dann werden wir dich, will dich nicht bitten, die Konferenz zu organisieren. You're the carrot chopping up and the washing up the dishes. Das, die Vorstellung habe ich gar nicht. Du wirst Karotten schälen. <laughs> ja, ich, ich habe die Vorstellung. I didn't, have, I didn't have the idea that it would be like that. Okay, anyway, let's, let's stop talking. Yeah, if you'd like to come, very welcome. And... Um, that's an, that's enough, I think, yeah, because you know what what this place is. Yeah? You're very attractive here, yeah, mm -hmm. and already since many months you had this wonderful reason why you couldn't come, yeah, and now existence has taken it away, mm -hmm. so now you don't need to find other reasons. Also, du bist ja hier von dem der Platz ist ja sehr anziehend für dich, und jetzt gab es viele Monate lang wegen deinem Job Gründe, dass du nicht viel hier sein konntest, aber jetzt hat die Existenz diese Gründe äh, weggenommen und jetzt brauchst du keine anderen Gründe zu finden, weshalb du nicht hier sein kannst. I've been working with people for more than 20 years. 20 ich über, years. Ich habe über 20 Jahre mit Leuten zusammen. And you know the only reason why people are not free. Und der einzige Grund, weshalb Leute nicht frei sind, is because they're scared shitless of being free. Das ist, weil sie eine scheiß Angst haben davor. That's the only reason. And so my job is to show that to people. Also es ist meine Aufgabe, das den Leuten zu zeigen. And to try to help them take away the thing that they put there, so they can't be free. Und ihnen zu helfen, die Sachen äh, loszuwerden, die sie da hinge selber hingemacht haben, um nicht frei zu sein. My teacher used to say, if you say you're free, you're free. Mein Lehrer, der hat gesagt, wenn du sagst, ich bin frei, dann bist du frei. So, I always used to think, well, that's a bit funny. Da habe ich immer gedacht, das ist aber komisch. You see? But when you say it, you have to mean it. Aber wenn du sagst, dann musst du es wirklich meinen. And to say you're free is probably the most terrifying thing you could ever say. Und zu sagen, ich bin frei, das ist das wahrscheinlich angsteinflößendste, was du sagen kannst. And so we spend our whole life to find reasons why we're not free. Also unser ganzes Leben lang suchen wir nach Gründen, warum wir nicht frei sind. So I've become a world expert on all those reasons. Ich bin also so ein Weltexperte für all diese Gründe. Maybe I should make a book, you know. 2000 reasons why you're not free. And then I could I give these books out and then people can tick their choice. 2000 Gründe, warum ich nicht frei bin und dann kann man das so nacheinander abhaken. I mean, one of the, one of the favorites I'm beginning to notice is that those kind of spiritual people, they actually think they are free when they're not. Mm. That's a very good reason. Also, noch ein noch ein anderer Trick ist bei den spirituellen Leuten, dass sie sagen, äh, ich bin frei, aber sie sind es eigentlich nicht. You can't mistake real freedom, you see. Echte Freiheit, die kann man nicht verwechseln. One of, one of the, um, how can I say, one of the attributes of real freedom. Eine der, eines der Anzeichen von wahrer Freiheit. Is that you say outrageous things. Ist, dass man ähm, unglaubliche Dinge sagt. Mm. 
Because if you're free, you don't carry shit. Denn wenn man frei ist, dann ist einem das total egal. So we look forward to you next week. Yeah, on Monday morning, Kommst nice and early to, schon? to the meditation. Montagmorgen. Okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Kindergarten teacher. She What finished she her training as a kindergarten teacher. Oh, training. Teacher. Oh, okay. You need training for that, do you? Braucht man da echt eine Ausbildung dafür? Ja. Und ich, ich bin von zu Hause ausgezogen. From my parents. Um, hatte meinen Führerschein neu und alles war so neu für mich. I just had my driving license and everything was very new. Und ich arbeitete mit ganz kleinen Kindern von um, sechs Monate bis drei Jahre. And uh, I was working with very young children from six months to three years old. Und das war sehr schlimm für mich am Anfang, weil ich die ganze Verantwortung auf mich genommen habe. And at the beginning it was very tough because I took all the responsibility on me. Dann bin ich in so ein tiefes Loch gefallen. And then I fell into a deep hole. Und ich wurde, ich hatte eine schwere Grippe. And then I was very sick with a cold. Und um, seit dem Tag um, hatte ich das Gefühl, ich, ich lebe nur noch so vor mich hin oder bin nicht mehr wirklich in dem Leben in der Realität. And uh, since then I had this feeling I'm only living half, I'm not really part of reality. Also als würde ich so über mich herabschauen, also nicht mehr im Körper präsent. As if I'm not really in my body, but I'm somewhere up and I'm looking down. Um. Und ich, ich, ich merke, dass das jetzt mittlerweile wie ein Programm ist, wo ich nicht mehr rauskomme, obwohl es gar nicht mehr da ist, aber das Programm läuft trotzdem weiter. And uh, somehow this uh, got, got stuck like a program, so this uh, program is still running, even though I'm not in this situation anymore. Also ich spüre auch, dass ich Angst habe, wieder meinen Körper zu gehen, aus Schmerzen. So, um, I'm afraid to go back into my body, I'm afraid of pain. Und somit kann ich uh, das Leben nicht wirklich leben, spüren. So, I do not really live life, I do not fully feel life. Ich glaube nicht, dass das stimmt. I mean, the way you, the way you came here. Die Art und Weise, wie du hier nach vorne gekommen bist. Could you feel it? Hast du das da gefühlt? I found you very present. Ich habe dich als sehr präsent empfunden. I mean, now you're telling us a story from the past. Es ist wie zu uns ja eine Geschichte aus der Vergangenheit. I mean, my advice to you is: you, you just do what you're doing. Just stay here for a while. 
Also mein Vorschlag wäre, dass du einfach genau das machst, was du gerade schon tust, nämlich einfach mal eine Zeit lang hier bleiben. Because you look like somebody who can easily come to now. Denn du siehst äh, für mich aus wie jemand, der einfach ähm, ins Jetzt kommen kann. See, and to come to now, you don't do anything. Und um im Jetzt zu sein, da brauchst du gar nichts tun. Because this is our nature. Denn das ist ja unsere Natur. If you remember those little kids in the kindergarten. Wenn du dich da an die Kinder im Kindergarten erinnerst. What's beautiful is that they are so present. Was an denen so schön ist, ist, dass sie so präsent sind. And I don't know what kind of training you had. Ich weiß ja nicht, was für eine Ausbildung du da bekommen hast. And for me it's a joke to train people. Also für mich ist das eigentlich ein Witz, dass man Leute da ausbilden muss. The only training you need is to surrender to the children. Das einzige, was man ja lernen muss, ist sich den Kindern hinzugeben. Because they're completely innocent. Denn die sind ja total unschuldig. They don't have any clever ideas. Sie haben keine um, schlauen Vorstellungen. So all you need to do with kids is give them some stuff to play with and that's enough. Also was man mit Kindern ja eigentlich nur tun muss, ist ihnen ein paar Sachen and geben, mit denen sie spielen können. And then of course you have to protect können. their environment. Und dann muss man halt die Umgebung schützen. Yeah. I've had a few masters in my life. In meinem Leben. And now I'm having some new masters. Jetzt habe ich äh, neue Meister. Probably the toughest I ever had. Und ich glaube, das sind die äh, strengsten, die ich je hatte. My first wife was very tough. She was a Japanese Zen master. Meine erste Ehefrau, die war auch schon sehr streng. Die war wie ein japanischer Zen Meister. You see? And now I've got two little three-year-olds. Jetzt habe ich zwei Dreijährige. They're very, very tough. Die sind äh, echt streng mit mir. So I don't really believe what you told me, but it's a nice story. Ich glaube, ich glaube nicht so ganz, was du erzählt hast, aber es ist eine schöne Geschichte. But if you just stay a few more days here, you'll find that everything will work out. If I look at your face, it's very clear. Wenn du einfach noch ein paar Tage hier bleibst, glaube ich, dass alles sich äh, fügen wird. Ich kann das an deinem Gesicht sehen, da ist etwas sehr Klares. And the way you came here was very spontaneous. Und die Art und Weise, wie du nach vorne gekommen bist, war sehr spontan. Just trust yourself. Du kannst einfach dir selber vertrauen. Und du hast dich schon verändert in den letzten Tagen. Du hast dich schon äh, stark verändert in den letzten Tagen. Dein Gesicht hat sich verändert. So the energy here is already working. Also die Energie hier, die funktioniert schon gut für dich. That's enough. Das ist doch genug. Unfortunately, human beings always have the idea they have to do something. Leider glauben die Menschen immer, dass sie etwas tun müssen. So you don't have to do anything. Aber du brauchst nichts tun. Remember the joke about the car park? Erinnerst du dich an den Witz über den Parkplatz? We always think I'm doing my life. Wir glauben immer selber, dass wir unser Leben arrangieren. Ja, ich habe schon viel verstanden, seit ich hier bin. Yes, I understood quite a lot since I'm here. What? I understood quite a lot since I'm here. Yeah, yeah. And so your face opens up, yeah? You Dann feel more open than when you arrive? Mm -hmm. Als sich dein Gesicht geöffnet, fühlst du dich offener als wo du angekommen bist? Yeah. Can you stay another week? Kannst du noch eine Woche länger bleiben? Yeah. That'll get a bit dangerous, because you may not want to leave after another week. Das könnte gefährlich werden, denn wenn du noch eine Woche bleibst, dann möchtest du vielleicht nicht so wieder wegfahren. Vielleicht ist das auch mein Ziel. Maybe that's my goal. All right, right. Yeah. And you're lucky because your friend came a month before, yeah? Du hast ja großes Glück, denn deine Freundin ist ja schon einen Monat früher gekommen. You see, and uh, you know, you trust her, I think. Und du vertraust ihr doch, oder? Is that right? You are here because you trust her. Du bist hier, weil she du said traust. it's a good place. Und sie hat gesagt, es ist gut hier. And so good that she's now decided to live here. Das 
so gut, dass sie entschieden hat, hier einzuziehen. Is that right? Yeah. So you just trust that, that's enough. Du kannst doch einfach dem vertrauen, das reicht doch. And when you look inside, you can see the effect of that. Und wenn du nach innen schaust, dann kannst du die Wirkung davon sehen. Just trust that place inside. Vertrau einfach diesem äh, Raum in dir. Yes, uh, actually that was also my feeling and I do have uh, a feeling for what is right but uh, also I get pulled back into this old pattern. Because uh, strong emotions come up which carry me, carry me away. Ganz klare Botschaft bekommen und der kannst du dann vertrauen. I mean, look how amazing it is. I think you're only 23, yeah? 23 years old. And yet you've come to this place. Wie erstaunlich das ist. Du bist erst 23 und bist hier an diesen Platz gekommen. Yes, eh? This is amazing. Das ist wirklich sehr besonders. Did you do it? Hast du das gemacht? No. <lacht> Nein. nächste Woche noch mal. Okay. And if you have any questions, we can talk again on Monday. Yeah? Oder wenn du Fragen hast, kannst du auch gerne Montag noch mal kommen. Okay. Anybody ready to bet me that this girl will be living here in three weeks' time? <laughs> so lucky, yeah? So lucky. I'm amazing, really. Joss. <laughs> We're going to need a kindergarten teacher soon. Yeah? We're going to have so many kids here. <coughs> School. Yeah, it's a pity. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, he's a bit too old. So, shall I talk to Artur? <laughs> Artur's come to help for the weekend. Hmm. Having a good evening? Yes, the energy is electrifying today. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> give me that uh, one of your tough talks. I like that. Yeah? You need a tough talk? <laughs> I think
think so. <laughs> At some point, probably. <laughs> no, I don't, think, I don't think you need a tough talk. You just have a difficult decision to make. Well, I've started the preparations for the, the decision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not easy, you know, because, of course, you, you're coming from a situation where you've got a very good job, you have very good prospects, probably your mother's very happy about you, and um, that could all change, you know? <laughs> I've, st I've started to prepare my mother's... Um, right, right. You have to work on your mother, I think. <laughs> I mean, those flowers that you like to send your girlfriends, you should send them now to your mother, I think. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very good boy, so when he gets involved with a woman, she gets flowers every day, you know? <laughs> it used to be like that. <laughs> You know, if I would live here, then I would not have that much money to... To, to buy to flowers. Yeah. yeah, well, the girls don't need <laughs> flowers here. Yeah. They, don't need, they, don't, they, don't ex they don't expect flowers. <laughs> as far as I understand, it's the girls that give the boys flowers here. That's <laughs> happened to me once. So. I have a visit. Um, I haven't visited Kazakhstan where I uh, grew up. Um, I was 18 as I came to Germany. I came from Kazakhstan. And I'm going to visit uh, in April. To Kazakhstan? Yeah. <laughs> oh. And um, I have a very good friend living there, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody I met with Osho many years ago. Yeah. He has a he has a Kazakhstan girlfriend, so he lives yeah. in Kazakhstan. Do you know which city? Shall I visit? You? What's the capital called? Uh, now Astana, but it used to be. To <coughs> yeah, be I think Almata. he needs somewhere near. I think he lives near Asta Astana. Okay. Yeah. Interesting, maybe I should visit him. I don't actually know his address, I don't think. I don't know, maybe if we have his email address. I'm not sure if we have it. Yeah. It's a beautiful city, you know, it was designed by an English architect. <laughs> Astana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> the best buildings there were designed by an English architect called Norman Foster. Well, it's uh, uh, for for for, uh, <laughs> for the people in Kazakhstan. I thought like you might not like to know that. You know, <laughs> 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 probably the only thing I know about Kazakhstan. <laughs> But it is, uh, it is like a miracle. It, uh, it, uh, there was a, just a small city in the desert, and uh, like Las Vegas, um, something came out of, uh, of the sand uh, that looks like it's not real, it doesn't belong there. Right. It's very modern and uh, yeah, very interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's interesting because actually, you know, if you're an architect and you work in somewhere like London or Paris, there are so many restrictions. But if you work in the middle of a desert somewhere where they have lots of money, uh, then you get to build something really fantastic because you're much more free then, actually. Mm -hmm. It's happening in uh, Dubai also. Yeah. Yeah. I'm planning to stay here for a week after the visit um, of my relatives because I think I'm going to need that. I think you might need it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I don't eat meat, I don't smoke, I don't drink. Right. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do with me, so. <laughs> your, your, your mother must be very pleased with you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's very concerned. <laughs> 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 yeah, my parents uh, once uh, talked to me and they uh, 
had only two explanations, two possible explanations for all of that. Yeah. And uh, the first one was uh, I'm gay. I don't know how to You're gay. Somehow it's gay, it's okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> You're clearly gay. I mean, that. that. <laughs> We're very gay too. Look, look how gay we're all. Everybody's very gay. Yeah, yeah the second one uh, that I'm crazy, but then. Uh, well, that's also true. So they yeah. look at us. <laughs> uh, it's very funny, actually, that the society thinks they're normal, and somebody like this are all crazy, yeah? when the reality is that we're normal and they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but they never get to realize that. <laughs> and it's a pity, actually. I cannot really describe to anyone outside the Open Sky community what's going on here because uh, I've tried a couple of times in the beginning to very... To well, very we don't know what's out. going on yeah. here. So <laughs> 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 I'm getting used to, the, to this idea. Coming here, I have some ideas and then the next time it's... Uh, completely different and the, the, all the ideas are gone and there right. are some new ideas and they go away too so right right getting used to that. that's why I was saying earlier to her that you know we, we're here getting rid of all the ideas you know, so finally you go oh, I give up are not watching, uh, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, we can always send these to your mother, don't worry. <laughs> I think she's got, a, she's got a full set now. <laughs> so maybe in, in th six months it will be a, a real possibility for me to, to make the big step, you know. Well, you're, you know you're always invited. I mean, we already <laughs> could feel, you know, this situation when you first came here. Yeah? But, I mean, it would be almost impossible for you really to come here. Yeah. I know that. Mm. But you're completely welcome, of course. Mm. And that was already true when you first came here. <laughs> I remember <laughs> sitting in the gallery one evening with you, and I had this very strong feeling that actually you wouldn't really leave you were completely able to decide, you wouldn't really able to leave that night. But of course, we all carry a kind of load, yeah? Mm. Expectations of the family, uh, expectations of friends, uh, maybe our own expectations we put on ourselves, you know, our ambitions, all kind of stuff, yeah? And so it's not so easy when you're going to make a decision that's going to completely change your life. It's extremely difficult, extremely difficult. And very, very few people ever manage. And then now I still have the possibility to go back to my home and, and, and my closed doors and windows uh, to find my comfort zone and uh, just to believe whatever I want to believe. But here, living here, um, I'm pretty scared of that. It's, uh, well, like, uh, but, but when you say you're scared to live here, what, do you, what could you be scared about, actually? I'm sure you can handle cutting carrots. <laughs> <laughs> so what could you be afraid of? It could only be yourself, you see. Yeah, but that's hard that's a, that's a, that's yeah. scaring. <laughs> yeah, but this is the whole thing. This is why it's so scary, you see. 
like I said a few minutes ago to somebody else, you know, we're, we're afraid to be free. And therefore our mind always puts some other things. You see? So she's completely attracted to this place because she feels something when she comes here that deeply touches her. And this thing that deeply touches her, she can recognize is a kind of a central part of her which she really cares about. And she had a very good reason why she wouldn't have to risk it because she owed the bank lots of money. Mm. So she had a very good reason not to come here, you see. Now she hasn't because suddenly she lost her job and now, you know, whatever happened, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> most, of my story, most of my stories are not true anyway. I mean, I, mean, I had the nice idea that I'm... Uh, I actually had the idea that I'm enlightened, that I'm free, right. and then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this, this is a very common idea, you know. Uh, uh, this is a very common idea, yeah. Especially in Ukraine, they they really have this idea very strong in Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got so many enlightened students in Ukraine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're just not able to see that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, just just for being here, uh, visiting here for a couple of months, just visiting here. Uh, I mean, uh, it's every day something else coming up, and it's very scary and it's very painful sometimes, and just you know, um, very intense. You just e even not living here, and just even just just visiting here. Um, well, you, uh, yeah, but you're also uh, visiting us quite often, and you're very very open, you know, because. Somehow you, you could say you, that you understand a lot, you know, you've had some very good experiences, so you somehow know, you know, so one part of you really knows, and another part is a bit hooked on s some things, you know, so there's something going on, you know, and this will carry on for some time, and this is what you could call a necessary work, and this necessary work starts when you think you've finished. <laughs> it starts when you think you're finished, yeah. and then it never stops. Actually. I've observed things when I when I'm really talking to you. Um, it, it's happened several times, not not many times. Every time you were able to find a really point that was very true, that I was not able to see at that moment, and then maybe a couple. A couple of weeks later, I realized that was exactly something very deep um, that was hiding. Right. Um. right. Yeah, but you're also very honest, you know. You're a very honest guy, actually. And this, this honesty is incredibly necessary. And unfortunately, this honesty can be very, very painful. Because this honesty means you have to face things which are very, very difficult to face. We've got one person here from Ukraine who's been in our community for several years. Now she's come to face some difficult stuff, right? She can't, she can't. So you have to be very, very honest because there's <coughs> always going to be moments when things are not so easy. Usually the thing that holds us from true freedom is something with pain in it something that happened when we were very, very small, which we probably don't even know about. So what can we do about it? We can't do anything about it. But when it shows up, we have to be ready to stand there, you know, very strong, like we're standing in a gale, you know, gale force wind, and this gale is blowing and blowing, and we have to be just rooted on the ground and let this thing blow as long as it needs to blow. You want me not to be scared after that? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, it I think it's very the, true. the thing that's nice is that it all happens when mm. we can manage. You know, I still get stuff to deal with in my life, which is very, very tough. And if it would have happened to me, say, 10 years ago or 20 years ago, I wouldn't have managed easily. Mm. I would have been lying on the floor screaming. You know? And somehow now I get these things and I, somehow I can manage. You know? 
So it's like you could say the whole of life is uh, giving us these things which we have to deal with because we have to see something, we have to understand something. And we have some sort of sweet little idea that one day we're going to wake up in the morning and everything will be perfect forever. No chance. No chance. It will never be like that. It will never be like that. It will never be like that. So you wonder why not more people come into your sets? <laughs> Yeah, I, I sometimes I, I, I think of this image of, of whiskey, you know? You know how they make whiskey? Well, I don't know either, actually, but my idea, <laughs> my idea of making whiskey is that, you know, you, you, you keep on uh, refining the alcohol, you know? And uh, this is what we're doing here, actually. Yeah. I've been doing it now for 22 years. Yeah. So I have a very small group, but fantastic whiskey. Fantastic spirit. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, a million times easier in the community while being here um, to, to go through the process. Yeah, because look, look at tonight, for example. I mean, when I walked into this room, there was this enormous feeling of love yeah? and this very beautiful um, exchange, you could say, of energy going on between the guys singing and the rest of the people. It was just very, very beautiful. So that energy can support you in looking at something that's painful. And this is something you can't really talk about you know, and isn't really available in most places. But it's a kind of essence in our community. And the thing that's very, very beautiful for me is that over the 15 years of our community, this kind of love field has got stronger and stronger. There's some kind of development. And uh, maybe she doesn't know, but when, when uh, Lee, Lei? Who? Leia. Leia, okay, when Leia came out here, you know, it's completely touching for me. She doesn't see it, but she's an amazingly beautiful young woman. And hopefully she will see it soon. And once you see this, there's nothing to do. You just have to accept it, you know, because we're all amazingly beautiful. And we spend all our time judging ourselves. All kind of crap, all kind of rubbish. powerful lesson kind of last year and this year. I'm not going to tell his name because it doesn't particularly matter for my story. But anyway, there's a world-renowned spiritual teacher. And um, he had centers all over the world. Yeah? About 50 books. And um, maybe two years ago, something happened with his students. And his students basically um, I don't know how you <coughs> describe it, but anyway, they basically um, didn't accept him anymore. So it was very tough for him. And it seems as if he made some bad mistakes in his intimate dealings with the students. They had a community. So he's kind of banished. This is actually in America, so in, in America, very much banished, but around the rest of the world, maybe not so much. And I got a kind of inner feeling that I should meet this guy, but I didn't really have any idea how I could meet him. You know? So last year, I was in the south of India, in at Arunachala Mountain, and one of my students came to me and said, this particular guy, he's sitting in a cafe. So I'm like, oh, what do I do now? You know. And so I decided that um, I'd like to meet him. But I didn't really have any idea why I should meet him, except that I had this intuition I should meet him. 
So um, my student went and told him, John David would like to meet you, would you like to meet him? We arranged a meeting in a coffee shop. And during this meeting, he started off doing some blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, God, like this. And I think I must have said something, but I don't remember what I said. But anyway, suddenly it was a shift. And then I felt the enormous love, enormous power and love, enormous emptiness. I was completely touched. So in that moment, I realized that whatever he might have done wrong, there was essentially something very amazing so I invited him here. He was here last year, one evening. And this year, he, I invited him to come for a whole day to the retreat. And uh, now some other stuff maybe is happening. So I don't think we need to make any judgments, actually. You know? The world, especially in America, is very strongly judging him. Maybe he deserves it. Probably he does. But because I didn't have to judge him, I could meet him fresh. And as soon as I met him fresh, there was this enormous, incredible um, moment, you can say, moment. Yeah? So amazingly, we now have a very beautiful connection. Five years ago, I, w I was in Paris. And I was having a meeting downstairs, and he was having a big meeting upstairs. And I went to him after his meeting and invited him for an interview for my, one of my books. And he wasn't interested. And now, existence has done its little tricks. And now we find ourselves almost falling in love with each other. So judgment is one of the most horrible, horrible human attributes. And there's a couple of people here that have very, very strong head full of judgments. And they maybe should look at those judgments because it doesn't do anything for you at all. It just separates you. It just separates you from your own essence. That's all it does. Because the people you're judging about, they don't care a shit about your judgment. <laughs> as it's me, I mean, I can tell, tell you now, I don't care shit about your judgments. I'm just sad that the judgments are separating you from your own essence. You'll never be free like that. It's impossible. Well, we've had a rather good meeting tonight, you know? <laughs> I've rather enjoyed myself, wow. <laughs> Any more fun? always nice. Do huh? you want to come? Yeah? <coughs> What's your name? Bergie. It's okay. You can speak German. And uh, 
and for a long time I couldn't stop it, but then I managed to stop it. Und dass du es anhalten konntest, das war besonders. And uh, this ability of being able to stop this thought uh, pattern was the first time in my life I managed that. Okay. In your cough. <laughs> <laughs> Is that in right? Kopf, yeah. In her head. In the cough. Head, yes. head. Yeah. Cough. <laughs> 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 My first German word, actually. <laughs> Kopf. Kopf. Ich habe noch gem <lacht> Ich habe noch gemerkt, dass ich in der Trennung bin und wusste nicht, wie ich das bleiben lasse. Und irgendwann. Ah, ich kann mich entscheiden. I, I could see that I was in separation. And um, then I, I didn't know I can change it. And then suddenly I could see that I can make a decision. Mm, maybe, maybe. Vielleicht. Sometimes. Vielleicht. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes the car parking spaces just become available. Manchmal wird doch einfach nur dieser Parkplatz frei. Und meine Sehnsucht ist, mein Herz zu spüren und zu leben. Das versuche ich mein Leben lang und ich habe es so doll. So my longing, my longing was always to feel my heart and to live like that. And uh, so this I was really trying very, very hard all my life. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So it must be all your trying is working out. Yeah? Sieht aus, als ob all deine Versuche jetzt zu einem Ziel führen.